Do you know the different methods of dealing with stormwater runoff? In this video, we'll discuss a few. As communities grow and impervious surfaces continue to replace grass and dirt, stormwater runoff can start to overwhelm city sewers and damage streams and rivers through flooding and erosion. By using different stormwater management systems, rainwater can be caught and slowly released back into the ground, rivers, streams, and storm sewers without causing any flooding or erosion. There are a few different options for stormwater management. So let's start with the ponds. There are retention ponds and detention ponds. What's the difference? A retention pond is sometimes also called a retention basin or a wet pond and typically looks like this. It's a basin that always has water in it and is surrounded by vegetation. You'll often see them in office building or condo complexes with a fountain in the middle to make it look like a pond that's part of the landscaping plan. Most people don't realize that it's strategically there to help with stormwater. So the pond always has some amount of water in it, and the water level in the pond is controlled by a low flow orifice, which is basically like a drain pipe that slowly releases the overflow water back into the ground nearby rivers or other bodies of water, or to the stormwater sewer without overwhelming it. So we see here that the orifice is at the top of the pond. So as the rain falls and the water level rises, it'll slowly release the water as needed to maintain the desired water level. On the other hand, a detention pond does not have water in it at all times. It's usually covered with some sort of vegetation that does well in both wet and dry environments and can look like a ditch when empty. Just like the retention pond, it also has a low flow orifice, but this time we see it's at the bottom of the pond. So as rainwater falls, it's already slowly releasing the stormwater back. Now, during a storm, a detention pond can fill up and take on the appearance of a retention pond. But once all the stormwater is slowly released, it will go back to being a dry ditch, unlike the retention pond, which will always have water. Here's a good way to remember it. Think of detention ponds like detention in school. You go to detention and then you get to leave. Just like that, detention ponds hold the water for a little while and then the water leaves. Retention ponds retain, the water always stays. A catch basin is one of these things. I know you've seen them in the street before. Here's how they work. This is the grate you see at street level. When it rains, the water falls through the grate along with any debris and there's an outlet up here connected to the storm sewer system to let the water out as it fills up. Now, in a heavy storm, it is possible that the city storm sewer system gets overwhelmed and the basin fills up faster than it can release the water. That's when we see flooding in the streets happen. It's important to make sure that these basins do not get clogged with debris because this raises the potential for flooding dramatically. A cistern is a tank for collecting and storing water. So the rain falls on a surface, usually a roof, that's pitched to direct the rainwater into a gutter or pipe, sending it to the tank for storage. The collected rainwater can then be reused in irrigation or other non-potable uses like flushing toilets. A bioswale is a slightly sloped vegetated area that can direct and filter stormwater before it recharges the natural aquifer underground. So there you have it, five different stormwater management systems. You can head to our website to get a free cheat sheet on everything we just discussed here. You'll find the link in the description below. You'll also find a link to our full length practice exams to help you get test day ready. And don't forget to share and like this video and subscribe so you don't miss new videos. See you next time. If you want to see more ARE study help, practice questions, explanations, and tips for aspiring architects, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And check out our website, linked in the description below. You'll find full-length practice exams, our blog for aspiring architects, and our free ARE playbook.